It's a beautiful day for baseball here in Detroit. The Angels going for a series victory after picking up the win last night in the 3-2 fashion. Today it is the rubber game of the series against the Detroit Tigers. We welcome you inside Comerica Park and back to Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West along with Mark Gubiza. I'm Victor Rojas. Now, of course, as September's coming up, we'll have the 40-man roster expanding. Now, for the Angels, of course, they've had a lot of guys have to come up because of injuries. Caleb Cowart up because of Yunel Escobar's injury, and he is all of a sudden performing both at third base and last night making his debut at second. Yeah, Victor, he really looks comfortable at the plate, and that's a big thing for Caleb. And take a look at our tools of the trade brought to you by Ram Trucks. You can see that comfort zone. Even during batting practice, he's squaring out the baseball extremely well, staying back. Fulmer with a very good fastball. He's looking out over the plate. Not a lot of wasted energy, a good, smooth, compact swing for Caleb Cowart. Hits that out, two-run homer, and also makes in a double two-RBI night for Cowart. Great defense throughout the game, too, for him. It's second base, and then moved over to third. A lot of quality at bats. We'll need that today against Anibal Sanchez. He's given up the long ball. We'll talk about that when we return. This telecast of Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West is brought to you by Hyundai. Great deals on amazing cars are going on now at your Hyundai dealer. Visit buyhyundai.com today. By Jack in the Box. Taste the all-new Brewhouse Bacon Burger today for limited time only at participating restaurants. By your Southern California Toyota dealers. By Mercury Insurance on a mission to save you money. Log on to mercuryinsurance.com to get a fast free quote and see how much you can save. And by the Jeep Renegade. Find your inner renegade and reach your highest potential with an EPA estimated 31 highway miles per gallon. Mark the final game of this three-game set between the Angels and the Tigers. Mentioned going to break Anibal Sanchez on the mound. Gooby, and he's a guy that the, the Angels have touched him with the long ball. Yeah, oh, for, he's 0-3 in his career versus the Angels. But really had a tough time back in Anaheim. It's our Honda helpful moment. The big fly came into play. C.J. Crone shot out the left center field. He was not to be out there. Mike Trout, again, with Sanchez, when he misses location, he's got a very good fastball and changer. But when he misses location out over the plate, you will see these type of results, and it finishes off with a Marte Parte. 
per home run three home runs allowed six earned runs for Sanchez against the Angels back in Anaheim earlier this season. Tyler Skaggs will be on the mound for the Angels looking for the series win before returning home. We're just about ready for baseball in the Motor City. Sit back, relax, lineups and first pitch when we return. It is a hot and muggy afternoon here in Detroit. The Angels trying to pick up a series win just like they did in Toronto before heading home. Take on the Cincinnati Reds for a quick three game homestand. And uh, so far, so good, Gooby. I mean, when you talk about uh, going out on the road and facing uh, these two teams, the Blue Jays and the Tigers, you were hoping maybe three and three would be good. And that's still a possibility, but you can go home with a four and two mark and pick up the W today. Especially the way both these clubs have been swinging the bat prior to the Angels playing. They've played some really good defense. They've pitched pretty well, and the offense scoring just enough to be able to put themselves in a position to win back-to-back -back series on the road. Tigers have uh, obviously taken the field. We'll check out Mike Social's lineup. This is game number 130 for the Halos at 55 and 74. And they will have Cole Calhoun leading things off at right field. Mike Trout is in center. Albert Pools at DH. Albert robbed last night of a home run that would have tied him with Frank Robinson. CJ Crone, the cleanup hitter at first base. Andrelton Simmons, the shortstop. Jeffrey Marte at third. Nick Busson left. Jeff Bandy behind the plate. And Caleb Coward, who made his first major league start at second base last night, is back at second. He will bat ninth once again today. They are taking on the 32-year-old right-hander native of Maracay, Venezuela. His name is Anibal Sanchez. And Sanchez fastball is going to be 89-93 slider, cut fastball, curve, and very good changeup. My go-to's to be successful against Sanchez. Change mistakes. When he makes a mistake with that changeup over the middle part of the plate, you have to be able to crush that one, create negativity. He's had a tough time against the Angels. Score early on him and often and get him out of the game quickly. Take a look at the defense for the Tigers this afternoon. Upton, Maben, and Martinez in the outfield from left to right. McGee, Iglesias, Kinsler, and Cabrera from third to first, and McCann behind the plate. And Iglesias at shortstop, he is one of the best. We see ours at Anderson Simmons quite a bit, but Iglesias fielding percentage, 989, which is tops among shortstops in Major League Baseball, but he has never won a gold glove. Very, very athletic, great range, strong throwing arm. Halo is picking up the victory last night by the final of 3-2. to two. A nice job by the uh, the Angels pitching staff considering uh, everything that happened yesterday with the change in the starters. Brett Oberholtz are getting the start. The Jolicia scene, the guy who was originally scheduled to start, had to come in, pitch in relief, and uh, did such a nice job. He ended up picking up the win his fourth of the year. Well, he threw the ball very, very well in the bullpen, out of the bullpen for Mike Sosha's club yesterday. Some solid defense. The guys made very good plays behind him. They worked quickly. That is always important as a pitcher 
work quick, quickly and utilize that defense. Yeah, lost in all that is the fact that Brett Oberholzer did not, even though he gave up the home run to Kinsler, didn't pitch poorly. He just had thrown a lot of pitches and had been used out of the bullpen pretty much all season long through 59 pitches through three innings, and that's why Mike Sosha ended up going to the bullpen and using Chassin for four, Ramirez for one, and then Fernando Salas picking up his fifth save. Cole ready to lead things off, hitting 267, 12 home runs and 58 runs batted in. And a one for five game last night, picking up a run. As the first one this afternoon is in there for a strike. Cole two for four in his career versus Sanchez, 500 batting average. No one in tight. One ball, one strike. Sanchez pitching in his 30th game, 22nd start of the year, 7 and 12, a 5.83 ERA. This one's fouled back. It's 1 and 2. Guy that uh, he's given up some hits. And he's also obviously given up the long ball, 24 of them. He's always been thought of as good stuff, especially from the right side, good movement on his pitches, but he can't get in a lot of trouble. Right handed pitcher that works from that first base side. Very good in four of his last five starts, though, when you look back, Sanchez struggled early on. His four of the last five, though, pretty solid. Coming off a W against the Minnesota Twins at Target Field, going seven innings. Allowing three runs on six hits. Two balls, two strikes. Just underway. As that one's upstairs. A full count. Jordan Baker calling the balls and strikes today. Tim Timmons at first. Pat Holberg at second. And Mike Everett, the crew chief. But, uh, according to the Tigers, a rough night last night. Is over at third. And close enough to their dugout so he can say hi during yeah. the course of the game. No truth to the rumor that he ejected his breakfast this morning. 3-2. Cole hits one over to first and gloved on a one hop by Miguel Cabrera. Throws to Sanchez and there's the first down of the game. Solid play by Cabrera and then hard hit ball by Cole Calhoun. My Hyundai key for this game today for the game is to be successful against Sanchez and the Tigers. Going a little Bob Seeger Main Street. Look for those mistakes down that middle part of the play and he has done that quite a bit in his career versus the Angels. 0-3 with an ERA over four. Including five home runs. Members of this lineup against Sanchez in their career against him. And the open we talked about the, the home runs he gave up against the Angels back on May 31st. Lasted just three innings now, with giving up six runs on eight hits. Trout swinging first pitch, fouls it back, and all of a sudden Mike swinging at the first pitch quite a bit in the last couple of games. 312 average, 24 home runs, 82 RBIs. Hit less last night, going over two with a couple of walks. Trout three for 11 against Sanchez in his career, but two of those three hits are home runs. Two balls, one strike. One thing about Trout, we have seen him swing at the first pitch a little more often of late, but still averaging 4.42 pitches per plate appearance, third best. Major League Baseball. Took something off and catches the corner. It's two and two. Pool hole saw deck. Full count. Got a day like this, and obviously you pitching in Kansas City, you had a lot of days like this. What can you do as a starting pitcher as far as conserving energy? Yeah, the, the, the big thing I did in between innings, which I didn't do a whole lot of that if it was obviously cooler, was changing T-shirts underneath the uniform as much as possible. This one's pulled foul, still full. And, I, you know, as my career progressed, I, I kept thinking the quicker the outs I get, one or two pitch outs early on in the game gives me a chance to, as the game gets deeper and where the game becomes more important as far as, you know, making mistakes or not, I have that little bit of energy left. So early quick outs, very, very important on a warm day like this if you're a pitcher. 3-2, chopper toward the hole, backhanded by Iglesias, strong arm, low throw, and it's dug out by Cabrera. 
two down. And to get two outs already for Sanchez, he's already thrown 13 pitches. And you're going to be sweating a lot. It's really, really humid here today. Base is clear for Albert. One home run shy of time, Frank Robinson for ninth all time. Albert at 585 in his career. 25 of which have happened this season. He will take a break the ball for a strike. Albert went one for five last night. Mentioned he was uh, potentially robbed by Justin Upton. Thought he got one early against Mike Fulmer. Started for the Tigers. 376 different pitchers for Albert Pulse at home run against. And Sanchez has gone a couple of breaking balls to start this at bat, so it's 0 2. Albert now with 101 RBIs. 0 2. Punches that one. Got robbed of an RBI last night yeah. when Trout was going. On a pitch, and he drove that ball out to right field. Thought he had a sack fly instead. He were able to double up Trout at first base. Oh, two down low. One ball, two strikes. This was hit sharply to short. Glaces has it. Halo's down in order. We will head to the bottom of the first. Scoreless. Here's currently four and a half back in the second place in the American League Central. Ian Kinsler leading things off at second. Cameron Maben in center. Miguel Cabrera at first base. Victor Martinez along with J.D. Martinez. Both ejected last night. They are at D.H. and right field respectively. Justin Upton in left. Casey McGee the third baseman. James McCann is the catcher. And Jose Iglesias batting ninth and playing shortstop. They are taking on Tyler Skaggs making his seventh start. He's one and three with a 570 ERA. Yeah, I, I look for Tiger Tyler just to get right back to his normal mechanics. My go to is for him to be successful today is that quick pace and easy delivery. Quick and easy for him to be successful today. And this stay in the moment. Not make sure you don't overthrow, get ahead of the count, finish off hitters. But just remember where you're at, where you were a couple of years ago. Very good stuff still working. 91 95, curveball, excellent changeup. I think he needs to use that changeup even a little bit more so today. Kinsler leading things off. He homered last night his 23rd. Comes in batting 273. Skaggs delivers a strike.
No balls, two strikes on the Tigers second baseman. And this is the one thing where Tyler needs to be able to start finishing off hitters, especially with his good stuff. Batting average against him, 0-2 counts this season when put in play 381. Dribbler fouls. So it's still at no balls, two strikes. Yeah, we saw that in that last start, last couple of starts, the struggles that he's had with two strikes and two outs. I like that pitch right there. Now you can back it up with a fastball down and away. Home run that Kinsler hit last night, his sixth leadoff home run of the season, 38th of his career. He did not go on that breaking ball. One ball, two strikes. Swung the bat well against left handed pitching this year, 308 batting average against lefties for Kinsler. Tyler so far in his first six starts, total of 30 innings, 36 hits, 29 strikeouts, 14 walks. And he gets Kinsler on that little two seam fastball, one away. Defensively for the Angels, if Nick Boston left, Mike Trout at center, Cole Calhoun at right, infield with Jeffrey Marte. And Andrew and Simmons on the left side. Caleb Coward to CJ Crone on the right. And Jet Bandy behind the plate. Boy, two of the best shortstops in all of baseball in this game today. And Anthony Simmons proven once again last night made an outstanding play. Continues to do some amazing things for the Angels. 982 career fielding percentage with six best in the major since 2012 for Simmons. Unbelievable arm strength and instincts and range. Maben takes upstairs showing bunt. Center fielder 0 for 3 last night, 329, and three home runs and 36 runs batted in. Takes a swing and a drive out toward left center field. Mike Trout calling for it. Two down as he steps out of the track. Ball will carry quite a bit tonight. Yeah, that got back there. It was hit. It looked like towards the end of the bat. Didn't quite square that one up. But drifted all the way to the warning track of Trout, Ryan. That went down to left center field. That's a long way out there, though. So two up, two down. Here's Miguel Cabrera. Shift on. And Miguel fouls this one off. 310 average for Miggy. 28 home runs, 80 runs batted in. Hit a one for three game. No balls, two strikes. That would have no decision when gave up one earned run. That was the home run to Miguel Cabrera, five and two thirds. Back in 2014, solid five punch outs. Yeah, that was at home, too. This is his first career start and appearance at Comerica Park. And had another count of one and two. Get headed account once again for Tyler, which is good to see from him. Again, just finishing off a hitter as quick as possible. This will punch the right field. Cole over to cut it off, does so. Holds Cabrera to a two out single. That's a pretty good pitch. That's one of those ones, as much as you don't like to do that when you're a pitcher, do a hitter, you tip your cap because that's a perfect pitch. This went down and got it. That's the reason why he's got so many opposite field home runs. He's got such a consistent batting average throughout his career because he has that play coverage going the other way. A lot of hitters would try to pull that. That's a routine ground ball, the sec second or short. Victor Martinez, switch hitting DH. Pulls the first one down the left field line, it's foul. Mike Everett making the call on Victor's drive. Victor was uh, ejected last night. There's Mike, he's the crew chief. J.D. Martinez, Wally Joyner, Brad Ospis, all getting tossed last night. I'll tell you what, in his defense, uh, those pitches, a majority of them were the right calls right, based on the uh, the strikes on the Fox tracks. The only one that was questionable was the one that the inning before 
McCann got punched out on which seemed to be on a 3 2 count below the zone but other than that he was fairly consistent. Tigers weren't having any of it break your ball. You lock up a pretty good hitter and Victor Martinez like that it tells you what kind of breaking ball you've got going here in the early parts of this game. So Cabrera and Martinez going with the sunglasses so. A lot of glare bright. Bright afternoon here in Detroit. Fastball away. That's that's the pitch. I think that Tyler has to go with a lot of times with the 0-2 count. He's had a number of them already in this first inning. Great location in that pitch. Now as a hitter, you got to you got to be aware of that outside part of the plate, but also you go down and in with a break of ball or even a fastball up in a 3-0-2 counts in the first inning. Now you got Kinsler to chase that high fastball away for the first out. 0 2 again. Breaking ball, little chopper toward third. Marte has to charge it. And there's a third out of the inning. Tigers get a hit, but leave them stranded. We'll head to the second with no score. Three ground ball outs against Sanchez, and they will send up Crone, Simmons, and Marte. <laughs> CJ Crone, 272 average with 11 home runs, 53 runs batted in. Had a hit last night, going one for four. And just missed off the plate. You know, Sanchez throws a lot of pitches away. Who will show in? Most times he's going to try to throw his break balls, cut fastball, fastball away, change up. 2 0 count. This one up the middle, sneaks it through for a base hit, and that was a pitch that was away from him. Leadoff man on board to start the second. They get your red on in 2017 and receive special benefits and great ticket prices by becoming an Angel Season seed holder. All you have to do is call 888-796-HALO or go to angels.com for more details. All three pitches in that at bat against C.J. Crone from Sanchez away. That one elevated in a way went right back up the middle for a single. And you can run on Sanchez, although McCann has a very good throwing arm behind the plate. Sanchez is allowed 18 stolen base, so hit and run may be on at some point, especially the way Simmons handles the bat. Andrelton takes a strike.
Simmons, the 275, and 16 doubles, a triple and a home run this year. Crohn's on the move, a chopper back to the mound. Sanchez fires to Kinsler for one, and it's a 1 4 3 double play, two down. Sanchez lands in very good fielding position, was able to field that one and quickly get rid of it. As suspected, the hit and run on. All five outs for Sanchez so far via the ground ball. That last one a double play. A really nice job of gloving that. Not only that, Kinsler wasn't even at the bag, but it's, it's, as you're taught, just throw right to the base. Yep. That's exactly what he did. Marte pops this one up. McCann. Behind home plate gets rid of the mask almost takes out Jordan Baker makes the catch and the Angels are done here in the second we'll head to the bottom of the inning no score. Tyler Skaggs back to work and a strikeout and a hit allowed in the first inning and here the second he'll face J.D. Martinez Justin Upton and Casey McGee good life on the fastball so far today uh, for Tyler Skaggs I know it's four batters but you like to see that it seems like location so far and, so he, good. and he's mixed in a change up early on too which is a very for me a very important pitch for Tyler because he has that good velocity on his fastball 91 95 he spots it well 302 counts in the first inning for Tyler which is a good sign but the break ball solid also. J.D. Martinez checked his swing, or did he? No, he did not. He went around. So no one count. The right fielder hitting 319, 18 home runs, and 52 runs batted in. Now his third season with Detroit. Had a one for three game. Up until the point he got ejected. That's the pitch also. When he tries to throw that backdoor curveball for Tyler, really has to stay with that front shoulder closed in to be able to finish off that pitch on that outer part of the plate with a curveball. Good adjustment on the fastball away hitting the outside corner. That's kind of what we talked about during his last start that arm side location mm -hmm. with that fastball. Last start was against Toronto. It looked four runs four innings breaking ball did not go. Tim Timmons, the first base umpire. I think when you think of overall stuff, Tyler Skaggs has number yeah. one, number two type stuff in a rotation. I know, if, you know, mentally right now, he's not happy where he's at as far as his numbers. But where he was and where he is right now, he's got to feel real good about the fact that his stuff is there.
Cal remains at two and two. Justin up to on deck. Full count. Down goes Martinez for the first strikeout. Pardon me, the first out of the second. Second strikeout of the game for Tyler. Again, that good mechanics. He has that front shoulders in good. The movement on his fastball gets a swing and miss. All started out really set up the ability to throw the fastball and a true fastball the outside part of the plate to start that at bat. You know, you mentioned the stuff that he possesses and where he would slot into a rotation when everything is going well. He really does it with two quality pitches, the fastball and that curveball. And he does have a changeup. There's a slow breaking ball that misses. And this even in the conversations I've had with him of late, I think he's going to start mixing in at some point. He'll start messing around with that during the offseason, a slider, which would be very good for him, too. So then you have three or four different pitches at varying speeds. Fastball is going to be mid-90s. Curveballs in the 70s. Sliders would be in the low 80s and change up mid to low 80s. See, that one there is, that, that, I think that's the, uh, another neutralizer for him to the, the slow curveball. Mm -hmm. He can throw them both, the strikeout one, and then the, he'll get it over, get guys off balance, especially the right-handers. Because from the angle we're at watching the pitch, he has very good free and easy mechanics. And great life on the fastball. There's that fastball away. So now what you're doing essentially is opening up both sides of the mm -hmm. play to a right-handed batter. You've got options now. He's under control, yet extremely competitive. And those two things, those combinations, allow him to be a frontline starter. Again, you're going to look at numbers, say, well, his numbers aren't there yet this year, but you've got to realize how long it's been since he's been in the major leagues, almost two full years. Two balls, two strikes. If he had trust in that changeup right now, that same plane away. Yeah, and he's these two right here, good friends too. It's it's a it's a battle between the two. He goes with a breaking ball, and he gets up to for round number two. <laughs> Teammates together in Arizona. Good breaking ball. Downward action. So you can throw that one, it will have a little bit more of an 11 to 5 break. That's a 12 to 6 break on his curveball. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, three overall so far. Here's Casey McGee, the third baseman, takes up and away. Ah! He's got a good tempo, good flow going so far. Tied him up. One ball, two strikes. McGee last night, two for three. This being his 21st game. Take over at third base for Nick Castellanos, who's on the DL. He was up to count at two or two. Wasn't it Casey McGee that took out Eric Ibar? Yes. Put him on the disabled list? A late slide. I was a member of the uh, Milwaukee Brewers at the time. 2 2. And now they're teammates. And then, of course, Eric Ibar and, and Justin, Justin Verlander. Verlander. <laughs> right here. Now they're teammates. Now they're teammates. Bunt with a, a no hitter going for Verlander. Verlander was not real happy, remembering that few gestures he made to him while he was in the dugout as that game progressed. Now he's, he's got to make plays behind him. Got a couple of. Uh, Lively afternoons here at Comerica Park. Oh. <laughs> Jared Weaver <laughs> as well. That one is just off the plate. Everyone seemed to be thinking that was going to be a strike call. A full count. Uh, the Angels taking a, a step toward the dugout. Yeah, it's a little bit off the outside corner, though. 
There's the payoff. And he walked him. Two out walk. Keeps the inning alive, and it's James McCann coming up. McCann, the catcher, a little surprising to see him catching day game after night game. He's back there. 221 average with 11 home runs and 42 runs batted in. Especially a fairly long game last night. No oh, one count. Now it just missed it. Ball and a strike. Started off to uh, seem to be a quick inning with a couple of strikeouts, and it's kind of a bit more of a prolonged inning with the walk. There's some uh, dark clouds kind of approaching the ballpark, the right field area. Potential for a, a spotty shower here or there. One or two. It's a good life again on the fastball from Skaggs. 92. Skaggs with 37 pitches thrown, 24 of them strikes. McGee over at first, not a threat to run. Two outs, one two count. Just got a piece of it. If you watch the way he takes his lead, not the normal look for a guy that would be thinking about trying to steal a base. And with no stolen bases nor any attempts this year yet. Long hold for him. McCann fouls it off. Another one, two to McCann. Upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. And pretty much been ahead of almost every hitter throughout this entire game. Skaggs is trying to get that quick out. About 25 pitches thrown this inning. Full count. McGee's going to be on the move now with two outs. Yeah, that's a little frustration for Tyler there because he's ahead of the count, and then before long, now another full count. 
in that mindset. They get that confidence going. They're just to finish off a hitter between two and three pitches if you can you know, every time and save that best fastball for certain points of the game to get through an inning. Crow playing behind the gate. Runner goes 3 2, and this is cut on and missed as Skaggs will strike out the side. He'll issue a walk in there, but we are 3 2 and no score. Order. Bus banded Cowart. Sanchez worked the minimum three in the second, courtesy of a double play ball. Not a whole lot of action so far. Both starters have allowed a hit. Bus, the left fielder, takes a strike. 220 average with a home run. Four doubles, a triple. Three runs batted in. One for four last night. Pops this one up, foul and out of play. 0 2 count. A lot of strikes and quick outs for Sanchez early on here. Just 26 pitches thrown, 17 of them strikes. No outs recorded out of the infield yet. Five ground ball outs and a pop up in the McCann. And Buzz lifts one out towards shallow right field. Big swing, full J.D. Martinez. He's coming on. He'll get there. And he'll make the, the catch for the first down. Yeah, he took a route where he thought that ball was going to travel deeper, and then he had to turn around and work his way in and, and cover some serious ground to run that one down from Nick Buzz. One out, nobody on. And here's Jeff Bandy. Night off last night with Carlos Perez behind the plate. Jet 0 for 3 Friday night. Fouls the first one back. It's actually been a, a pretty good road trip, if you will, for the Angels. Taking 2 or 3 for Toronto. Split the first two here in Detroit. Considering the struggles they'd had prior to this road trip. Playing away from the Big A. And Bandy. Pulls one out the left. Upton is there. Two down. Hey, get your red on and join us on Saturday, September the 10th. The Angels taking on the Texas Rangers at 
and enjoy a post-game fireworks show presented by Wells Fargo. Visit angels.com slash promotions to get your tickets. Two up, two down. Much different Anibal Sanchez today than what we saw back at the Big A. And like Tyler, he's a, so far working both sides of the plate well, neutralizing hitters as Cower takes a strike. Caleb last night making his first major league start at second base. Ended up going two for three with a couple of RBIs, including a home run, his first of the season as he pulls this one foul. And the other thing that that you and I talked about last night while we were watching the game, the fact that he has some really good plate appearances throughout the entire game. Found all some tough pitches, some good swings, and really has shortened up his swing. Eight of nine first pitch strikes in this game for Sanchez. Turns his back with that numbers to the hitter. To create good balance over the pitching rubber. Completely under control himself in his delivery today. Found a little bit of that hip turn that you see from Felix Hernandez. That's a called strike three. Pretty good fastball that catches the corner, and the Angels are down in order. That's the first strike down for Sanchez. Well, head to the third with no score. the guts to say catch Colin and Jason on FS1's new daily sports talk show speak for yourself weekdays at 3 Pacific bottom of the third here Comerica Park we are scoreless in the rubber game of this series Tyler Skagg struck out three walked one in the second inning and uh, seemed to take that second inning took a little longer than normal a couple of deep counts especially to McGee and McCann but he has racked up four punch outs so far one hit allowed and that one base on balls. Nine one and two. Iglesias, Kinsler, Maven. Tiger to start of the day. 69 and 60 on the air. And that one will hit Iglesias. So the first man will reach on the hit by pitch. That went on the bounce that hit him. So Tyler wants to know if it hit him on the bounce. Do you break a ball? And as he moved his leg away from it, got him at that point. Looks like it got up at the back of the uh, the back leg. No argument for Mike Sosha. Yeah, initially didn't hit him, but hit the dirt and then got the leg. So Iglesias over at first and Kinsler at the plate. Yes. Threat to run here, Iglesias at first base. Five solid bases, been caught three times. Kessler struck out of the first. It's 
Swing at first pitch. Hits one out toward left center field. Nick Buss racing over. He will track it down. Got a terrific jump on it. Gets it back in as Iglesias scampers back to first. And that's the point, Victor. Yeah, he gets a good jump off the bat. Nick Buss out in left field. Off the bat from our angle here, it looks like he has a real good chance of being a double. Maybe potentially even scoring a run, but he's able to track that one down quickly. Nice play by Nick Buss. One out of Glacius at first and Cameron Maven at the plate. Maven drove one out the left center field. It was tracked down by Trout in the first. Shows Bunt takes a strike. He has had a nice season. This is his 69th game. He's been limited due to injuries. But when healthy, he has put up good numbers for the Tigers. This would sharply hit the second. Coward to Simmons for one. The relay back to first in time. 4 6 3 twin killing completes the third. Off to the fourth we go with no score. Bottom of the fourth, that inning finished up with a solid double play turn. It's worthy of a Carl's Cam replay. Caleb Cowart playing second base, spins the body, the good feed over to Hamilton Simmons to complete a double play. Again, it's only his second career start at the major league level at second base. You see Simmons touching the base, completing a 4 6 3. Double play, good feed by Cowart. Cole fouling off the first pitch, and it's a no one count to start this fourth inning. Calhoun trying to pools. Yeah, Caleb had not played second base at the professional level prior to this year. 14 games at AAA. Now the second game at the major league level. That is, uh, even though he's played third and short, it's a different animal over at second base. Yeah. And, and right after that play, going off the field, Caleb was talking to Simmons. Asking him, is that the, you know the feed, the area you wanted me to throw that baseball again? It's all a work in progress. But very solid so far. We all know that arm strength he has. But again, it's all about that feel and to be able to turn the body and the feed over there to second base when you're trying to turn a double play like that. And that was pretty solid. Cal remains at 0-2. 
Sanchez one strike out one hit allowed. Second time through the order now. One and two. Look like hit by pitches very oh. similar. We saw with Iglesias that About down that. and in. Cole wasn't. He wasn't moving very quickly to first base, but he'll take it. Before the game, Mike Trout, as usual, signing autographs for some young fans, and the reaction, priceless. How excited that young fan is with his Mike Trout jersey. That big ah, oh, that's what makes baseball and Mike Trout. That reaction's absolutely fantastic. Trout made that youngster's day. Tears of joy, man. He's unbelievable, Trout, with that. He's so good as far as signing autographs. We saw it on display today coming into the stadium, signing some jerseys and some baseballs. Mike Trout gets it, how important that connection is with the fans. Calhoun picked off at first base. Cole looking back as if maybe his foot slipped a little bit trying to get back. No argument from the Angels. It's that one very similar we see with Matt Shoemaker. The quicker move before you get in that set position. Just look over and fire over quickly. Got a ground ball to short in the first inning. You know, one thing with Sanchez, he does have an extremely quick move, especially before he gets in that set position, as you're trying to establish your lead. The one we just showed there was one where he was already set. Cole had not been set. Two balls, one strike on Trout. That's a good swing right there. Fastball, middle part of the plate. That's what we're talking about as far as the key to the game, those mistakes where he would make right down the middle part of the plate. And that was one of them, and he got away with that one. Trout fell the straight back. Trout goes down, swinging for round number two. Second strikeout for Sanchez. That ended up being pretty much down the heart of the plate, too. A little late move, and you see where McCann set up, but that runs right in the heart of the plate. Enough movement at the end at 93 to get a swing and miss against Trout. So two out spaces clear for Albert. Albert grounded out to Iglesias to end the first inning. She's 0 for 1. Well, Sanchez looks extremely confident right now, not wasting time. Staying right on that pitching rubber. Something we did not see earlier in the season. Albert hits one out to right field, and it's a two-out single. Fastball away. Went with the pitch. That's what Albert's been doing a lot on this road trip, and he's been hitting the ball very, very well. Hitting the ball hard the other way when it's pitched away. Road one for one. He led off the second inning with a bouncer up the middle. Takes upstairs. Lights have been on since we started this game, and now they will come in handy. It's gotten much darker here. Still no rain falling. No score as we play here in the fourth.
There comes the 1 1. Dribbler foul. 1 and 2. There's no question Sanchez pitching with a lot more confidence today than he did at the big A. When you have four of your last five starts being as good as they have been for him, you're a lot more confident. Again, the key is what Albert did, hitting the ball the other way. He's throwing quite a few pitches. He's throwing enough inside, but that outside part of the plate is where he's been living so far in this game. Got to think middle to the other way, especially as a right-handed batter against him. Fouled off. Sanchez getting a start at the big leagues with the Marlins. He's only signed by the Red Sox. Pitch with two teams, Marlins and the Tigers. That's it. Boy, remember at one point mid 90s fastball. One two to Crow. Down low. Nice block by McCann. Albert stays at first. Two balls, two strikes. The Annabelle was part of the uh, big trade with Hanley Ramirez. Going to the Florida Marlins with Josh Beckett, Mike Lowell, and Guillermo Moda back in 05. Sanchez signed through next year with an option for 2018. Off speed outside. Full count. Albert will be on the move. Neither team has had a man reach second base in this game so far. A couple of double plays have been turned. Albert takes off. 3 2 to Crone. It's a bounce over to second. Kinsler's got it. And we will head to the bottom of the fourth. Still scoreless. With Miguel Cabrera coming to the plate since 2004, he leads the majors in batting average, 323 hits, just under 2,400 of them, just under 500 doubles at 497 in RBI, over 1,400. Talk about these two MVP pedigrees last four seasons. Mike Trout MVP in 2014, runner up three times, including runner up to Miguel Cabrera back in 2012 and 13. Both outstanding hitters who hit the ball so well to all fields. Swinging first pitch, pulls one to left. Bus over to cut it off, and he gets away from him. So Miggy will end up at second with a leadoff double. 
What do we say to all fields? He had a base hit the right field now, double down the left field line. He was thinking two right out of the box, too. 27th double. Went down and got that fastball aggressive early. And Buss tries to slide over to cut that one off. But he was going to have to make a throw because Cabrera was thinking double, like you mentioned, right out of the batter's box. You know, man, in scoring position, something we have not seen yet in this game. Victor Martinez at the play with a man at second. Martinez grounded out of the first. Skaggs with four strikeouts, one walk, and now two hits allowed in there. Both owned by Miguel Cabrera. Oh, it just misses. Good bounce back season for Victor. Struggled through last year. Good numbers overall. A tough part of the order, too, for uh, Detroit. Especially when you think about it as a left handed pitcher against Cabrera, Victor Martinez, JD Martinez. Cabrera at second with nobody out. Two all. Punches it foul. Just happy to take the, uh, the base at the right if that's what's given to him. And at the very least, even if he makes it out to that side of the infield, can try to advance Miguel Cabrera to third base. Red on deck of JD Martinez. This was lifted out to right field, chasing Cole back. And just at the base of the wall will make the catch. Cabrera tags is heading to third. Throw comes in, but uh, a little bit late. Nice throw by Cole, especially from uh, all the way at the wall and right. Yeah, that was a pretty good pitch. Pretty good indication how strong Victor Martinez is and how the baseball is carrying so well today. That was towards the end of the bat. Always to the wall and right field. There's always stress here, too, when you hit a ball out to right field. Not quite as bad as Tiger Stadium. With that overhang, the upper deck. One out, one on. Infield in for the Angels. And with Cabrera at third, you can afford to be halfway in. So it looks like the right side is in, but the uh, left side a little deeper. Martinez tardy on the fastball. And when you have an arm like Simmons, you can afford to do that. We saw that yesterday. With an outstanding play when he was playing back, and still made the throw to the plate first inning. Martinez struck out in the second inning. Tyler working for the full windup. This one's lifted down the line, slicing out of play. No balls, two strikes. That ball had some care. Both teams with two hits. The Angels have stranded one. Tigers have left two on so far. They've got Cabrera standing at third. 
Leadoff double and a fly ball to right off the bat of a Victor Martinez. Breaking ball, pulled foul. Nice play down there. 55 pitches for Tyler. Try to sneak that fastball up and away. It's what he got him with that first at bat. Fell off again. That break ball for Tyler there. Not quite the bite on that one. Stayed in her half, but got felt high. That'll even up the count. Now that's the one you can go with there. Just have to have trust in your catcher. And Jeff Bandy's been so solid defensively behind the plate. So you can get him to expand the strike zone and chase that one. He did not go after it, though. Now it feels straight around with J.D. Martinez at the plate. See uh, Miguel over at third. Two two got him swinging on a high fastball. That's a great sequence right there and credit Jeff Bandy on that one. He wanted to go away with that pitch. Very difficult to catch up upstairs like it was. See where he set up. Gets a swing and miss on a fastball away. And their break a ball hard break a ball down and in in which he blocked so well and Tyler hit his spot. It's a big strikeout. So two down. Five strikeouts now for Tyler. Cabrera still at third base. Here's Justin up to the strikeout victim in the second. Down of the way. Tyler got ahead of Upton through the breaking ball that got him for the punch out. In there for a strike. I feel back at normal depth now with two outs. Down low. Two balls, one strike. Up to just 207 so far this month. Rating 278 in July. But real good power, especially pull power if you make a mistake on the inner half of the plate. So that's why that fastball there is located perfectly for Skaggs against him. He was trying to pull that pitch, does not make contact. Skaggs trying to work around a leadoff double. Keep this game scoreless. 2 2. Breaking ball. Lays off. Full count. The sun has popped through once again. Here's the payoff. This one's fouled off.
Reset it, do it again. Casey McGee on deck. 3 2 once again. Up to doesn't chase, and he'll work the walk. A two out, free pass. Second one issued by Skaggs puts a couple of men on. Sixty six pitches, twenty seven of them back in the second, twenty so far here in the fourth. About a perfect, efficient, pretty much can't get much better than that. Four pitch, third inning. For Tyler and that second inning in which he threw 27 pitches kind of uh, happened as the McGee and McCann at bats happened after getting the first two outs via the strikeout. Same here. It's two outs after the leadoff double then the uh, prolonged at bat to Upton and brings up McGee. First time today either side's had multiple base runners on board. This is grounded towards short. Simmons has it, flips to Coward. They will force out Justin Upton, and we will head to the fifth. Still scoreless. is brought to you by Subaru, making the world a better place. That's why we donate to causes we care about. And by El Pollo Loco, five meals under 500 calories. Try them at El Pollo Loco. It's the top of the fifth inning with no score. Take a look at the in-game box score for the Angels. There's not a whole lot to report on either side. Just two hits for the Halos today. Crone, a leadoff single in the second. Bulls, a two-out single in the fourth. And that is it as the Angels have yet to get a man. To second base. They will try to do that against Anibal Sanchez here in the fifth. Simmons, Marte, and Bus coming up for the Halos. Sanchez, a couple of strikeouts, no walks, and those two singles allowed. Boy, just a lot of strikes thrown for Sanchez. 53 pitches, 36 strikes. Simmons 0 for 1. He bounced into a double play in the second. Bounce went right back to Sanchez. Ended up being a 1 4 3. One and two. It's really changed speeds very well in this game, also. Crab ball up the middle. It's a leadoff single. A piece of hitting by Angleton. And it's that two strike approach. It's trying to say, just trying to put the ball in play, hit the right back up the middle. Stay back on a well. And gets it by Sanchez and Iglesias in the center field.
Jeffrey Marte at the plate. It's twice now he see the ball back up the middle. Last time Sanchez was able to feel that and complete a 1-4-3 double play against Simmons. Jeffrey back at third base. Started there last night. 0 for 1 as he popped out to McCann back at the second inning. My Hyundai key for this game to be successful against Sanchez. He hasn't done it yet, but that Main Street putting that fastball and breaking ball change up right down the middle part of the plate. He's given up 24 home runs this season. So far, he's avoided that part. For the offense to get it going here now. This one's pulled foul. Watch out. Got it in the seats very quickly. No balls, two strikes. You'll notice about this stadium here at America Park. Not many stadiums have it. That dirt path goes right from the mound towards the dirt area at home plate. Really paying attention to Simmons. Four stolen bases and five attempts. McCann's been very good behind the play, throwing out would-be base stealers. Good lead for Angleton. 0-2 is low. Yeah, that's an impressive block of, of a pitch in the dirt when you think about it. All those pitches he caught and blocked last night, a long game into a day game, a hot day today. Very solid technique as far as keeping that break of ball in front of him. For McCann, very solid defensively. He's got 20 of 38. Would be base dealers. One, two. Marte lines one out to deep left field. Going back on it is Upton. That is gone. Big fly for Jeffrey Marte. His 10th of the season gives the Angels a 2 nothing lead. Oh, finally got one of those pitches down Main Street for a little Marte Parte with a two-run home run. Showed him in the opening, a home run against Sanchez back in Anaheim. This time, got a pitch, a mistake up, and he crushed it to left center field. Two-run home run for Marte. Right down the heart of the plate. And he did not miss that one, that good little stride he has. Perfect swing path to drive that one out of the ballpark with some good carry way out left center field. 29 runs batted in now. Base is cleared. Here's Nick Buss, the left fielder. 0 for 1. Breaks his bat, rolls one to Cabrera. Sanchez covering one away. Tenth home run, second of the season against Sanchez for Marte. That baseball went a long, long way. 105 miles per hour off the bat, 430 feet. The estimated distance according to StatCast. We said there was going to be some carry today with a yes. warm, muggy afternoon. That's one two-strike approach. <laughs> With some distance. Jeff Bandy over Wani. The fly ball to Upton in his first at bat. Second hit batter for uh, Sanchez. He barely touches the jersey. An elbow area for Bandy. 
On those there, it should be the uh, the batter's discretion if he wants to take first base. <laughs> the umpire should have to ask the batter, Do you, would you like to stay or go? Uh, yeah, I would have loved that if somebody asked that when I was on the mound. Okay, so you didn't think that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Can you Caleb. imagine like Bob Gibson or the late Don Drysdale? Well, all of those guys would say, yeah, that hit me. I'm yeah. going to go ahead and take first there. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> yeah, let me run down there. They weren't going to want to hit against Gibson no. or Drysdale. Caleb struck out looking. His first at bat. That was in the third. Two nothing Halos here in the fifth. Caleb lifts this one out to shallow left field. Up to coming in on it. Two down. Bandy back to first base. <laughs> Oh, generally really aggressive early in count, especially first pitch. See if you can get something to turn on right now. Fouls this one back. He had a good hack. Oh, for one. Grounded out at the first, was hit by a pitch in the fourth. This one's down the left field line and it slices foul. An 0 2 count. So, just a great swing, good approach, and then he got a pitch, a mistake pitch. Marte with his 10th home run to go along with eight doubles this season. 18 extra base hits for him. Never wasn't feeling real well when we were in Toronto. Indeed, having a good time in that dugout. Good to see that, especially after that two-run home run. Ball and two strikes with two outs. Bandy over first. Snap throw to first, and Bandy gets the foot back in there. There's that arm of McCann. Sanchez once. All right, Osmus to take a look at that throw, see if indeed Cabrera tagged him before Bandy got the foot back on the base. He got that foot in there just before the tag was applied. Bandy's on the move. Calhoun pops it up. Kinsler underneath it puts it away. It's the third out, but the Angels strike for two on the Marte home run is 10th of the season. 2 0 as we hit to the bottom of the fifth.
Angels lead the Tigers 2 to nothing here in the bottom of the fifth. So far, Tyler Skaggs has thrown the ball very well himself. Four innings, shutout baseball, 67 pitches, five punch outs. Only two hits the game. Miguel Cabrera, single to right, double to left against Skaggs so far in this game. Looking for the old uh, shutdown inning here at the bottom of the fifth. McCann, Iglesias, and Kinsler coming up. McCann over one. Strikeout victim to end the second. Swing at first pitch, fouling it back. So far in this game, Tyler has gotten two first pitch outs, which is very important to maintain that pitch count. Down low. Sixty nine pitches. Five strikeouts. Throw the ball well. He's had a couple of deep counts. Slow breaking ball. There's that so tantalizing for a right handed batter. Good location down and in though. Well, what it does now for Tyler, it gives him a couple options against McCann. He could try to bounce one again or go up and away with a fastball. Laid on the fastball. That's a product of that pitch before. You can see where Jeff Bandy was trying to set up that target upstairs. Another one two from Tyler and down it goes we've seen that pitch be very effective against right handed batters so far today a little change up running away. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Los Angeles Angels and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. And we're in agreement there I, I think with Tyler Skaggs if he starts using that change up more. Even though that wasn't the perfect location, right. it was the speed of the pitch. Either that or even to just a little two seam fastball, that same outside part of the plate plane. You can even, the, the old saying we talk about that BP, that batting practice speed fastball, works so effectively. This one hit to short, one hopper to Simmons. Two down. A little tough hop too for Simmons to be able to maintain that, keep that in front of him. He's always in position to feel the ground ball if he can in front of him. The way you take away that tough hop. So often we see infielders now field everything to the side. When you have a tough hop, it gets by you. So two outs, nobody off for Ian Kinsler. 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a fly ball to left. Takes outside. Kinsler fouls it off, two at one. Yeah, 
in there. Good downward plane on the fastball there from Skaggs. Pretty good fastball at 93. The life is still there. Yeah, maintaining velocity here as the season progresses. Keep in mind how many games he's had at the major league level, but he also had a number of games down in Triple A. First inning, best fastball, 94. That one at 93. So the velocity has been maintained. Does this change up? And once he gets a better feel for that changeup, they can have that go fading down and away in lower part of the strike zone against a right-handed batter. But still, the speed, solid. Chancellor hits one to short. Boy, that ball popped up on Simmons. Stays with it. A 1-2-3 shutdown inning. Five of the books. Halo's up to nothing. Josh, Josh Donaldson, solo shot in the third. At that point, gave Toronto a two-to-one lead, but Minnesota's fall back and take a look at that with game break from Rogers Center against Gibson. Boy, what that ball was squared up. 31 on the season as far as home runs for Donaldson, MVP candidate himself. Toronto came back yesterday. We were behind quite a bit against Minnesota, looking for a three-game sweep of the Twins. Trout, Pujols, and Crone against Anibal Sanchez here in the sixth inning. First one's a little bit high. Speaking of MVP candidates, Mike Trout at the plate. Sanchez has thrown quite a few fastballs today in, in this game. Got a ground out and a strikeout against Trout for Sanchez. Caught the inside corner, one and two. Two two. A very good series up in Toronto for Trout. The Tigers have pitched him very well in the series at this point.
This is hit to short. Iglesias has to go off his glove and into shallow center. So the leadoff man is on board for the third straight inning. A tough hop of Iglesias at short. Trout brought his hands inside on that one to be able to try to turn on that one. Being a hit. Trout gets credited with a base hit. Now this will be a test right here for McCann. I mentioned earlier that Sanchez has allowed 18 stolen bases in 25 attempts against him coming into the game. That's a quick move before he gets in the set position. That's the move it got. Cole Calhoun back in the fourth inning. Albert today one for two. He had a single to right field the fourth. Break your ball in there. Got a little bigger lead. Tigers with the option now of a potential pitch out now that he Sanchez threw the first pitch for a strike. There's some MVPs right there. And one at the plate in Albert Pujols. Trout's on the move. Albert bounces it toward third. And that is foul. Michael head back to first base, and Albert will face an 0-2 count. Trout had a pretty good jump from first. Down low. Sent a little bit of a quick pitch there. Said that a couple of times, guys on base. Mentioned how good he is at holding race base runners and fairly quick to the plate. Albert fouls it off. Count quick, remains at one two. Quick pitch and then a slow changeup. What he's trying to do is throw the timing off of Mike Trout in case he's going to try to steal the base and also throw the timing off of Albert Pujols. That's a tough pitch to block there. Two balls, two strikes. Back to back pitches that Sanchez has thrown here really slowed down his delivery, though. Well, the sun obviously hasn't been out for a while, but it's still a hot, muggy day. Even at 80 pitches, could be wearing out at some point. Especially when you have to pay attention to a guy like Trout at first base. You have to throw over a number of times, and you're facing a guy with. As many home runs as Albert Pujols has in his career, 585. You know if you make a mistake, you go a long way. Albert hits one out toward right center field. Maven got a good jump on it. He'll make the catch as he ends up diving. He's trying to go back to first. Pujols wants Sosha. Pujols wants Sosha to look at it, saying that that ball hit the ground. The call is out.
And you see right there, unable to keep that baseball in the glove. That's one of those tough plays as a runner. When the umpire calls you out, you're just running back to the base. Yep. Albert's not, he's at first base. And, and it's moving. one of those plays we saw earlier where if you go to replay, they might place the runner at second base because of that missed call. So Mike's asked for the entire crew to come in. Uh, it's hard for Trout to advance when you see the out call being made. And it clearly the baseball came out of the glove of Maven after he dove in the right center field. Looks like they're going to take a look at it. Now the question will be if it's ruled a non catch, well, then they would just put Mike Trout at second base yeah. and Albert Pools at first. And we saw that back at Anaheim recently. Tim Timmons on the left. Mike Everett, the crew chief, on the right. And the crazy thing, the baseball popped out of Maven's glove, but then popped back into his glove. Well, if it never touched the ground, it's an out. Yeah, but it, it did hit the ground. But it's a tough angle, too, at second base to be able to see that call. The way his body was turned, but there's plenty of camera angles around to see that baseball that was in the glove initially and then pops out as Mabin hits the ground right there clearly. So it should be first and second. And they're going to make a decision quickly. Safe. So Trout will be at second base. He was all, he's already at second base. And Pujols over at first. That's a single for Albert. Second hit of the game for Albert. Two on, nobody out. And here's C.J. Crone. Crowed one for two. A single in the second inning and a ground out in the fourth. Tigers get action in their bullpen now. Ron Doan, first man up. Big man pitched last night. Pro lines on the left field. That'll get down for a base hit. Bases will be loaded. But nobody out for Angelton Simmons. Second hit of the night. Or afternoon, I should say, for Crow. And both hits have been on high pitches. Brought his hands inside that baseball well. Stayed back. Lines that one into the left. Hit too hard for Trout to be able to score on that one. Had to make sure that ball hit the outfield grass before it gets to up in the left. Simmons one for two, a double play ball in the second, a single back up the middle to lead off the fifth. And this was pulled down a line, but foul just out in front. Big moment for the Angels to add on here.
Very good batting average for Simmons. 280 with runners in scoring position. This one's out towards center field. Chasing Maven back. It'll be deep enough to score Trout. Pujols tagging from second. He's heading to third. Crone's trying to get to second, and he is in there. Three nothing Angels. Sack fly for Angelton Simmons. You talk about a perfect out on that one. Not only get the run home, but advance both runners in the scoring position. Good to bat, good swing. Got a pitch he could hit in the air, Simmons did. Excellent at bat, productive at bat. Picking up his 28th RBI. Force that infield in now, at least halfway in. First out recorded here in the uh, top of the sixth inning. Marte, a big swing, fouls it back in a two run home run in the fifth inning. And this is what it looked like. And it's our top tier play of the game brought to you by Arco. Marte with two strikes on him. Stayed back on that one well. Barrel the bat, 430 foot shot to left center field. Two run home run for Marte. No balls, two strikes. Back to back starts at third base for Jeffrey. Coward have been getting a start over there with Escobar on the seven day concussion list. Oh, two. This one's out to center field. And that'll be deep enough to score Albert. Crone tagging. He'll head to third. Albert crossing to Blake, and the Angels extend their lead. Three RBI game for Marte. Both runs score this inning via an out. Sack fly. Almost look, could have been another out the fly ball to right center field with pools and end up going out of the glove of Maven. And even the ground ball single for Trout off the glove of Iglesias. So it took advantage of some mistakes in the field by the Tigers scoring two runs. And it's all coming down to Albert tagging up going from second to third too, getting that run across from Marte. Boss will take down it in. Third career. Three RBI game for Marte. First time on the road. Facing his former mates. Ball and a strike on Nick Buss, who's 0 for 2. A fly ball to right and a ground ball to first. Four nothing here in the sixth. In tight. To what counts, Sanchez now 91 pitches. Could be his last batter either way. Upstairs. Three and one. He has constantly missed upstairs in this inning. Means you're starting to get tired when you start elevating pitches, whether it's your fastball or, or off speed. 3 1. Bus pulls it down the line. It's a fair ball. Crone will score. Nick turning and heading to second. And the Angels lead is 5 0 now as Bus picks up his fifth double and his fourth run batted in. Down and got that lower pitch. Lines a double RBI. Fifth double for Bus and fourth RBI. That's a great angle to see that one hook right down over the base and down the line for a double. Brad Osmus out to make a pitching change. That's going to be it for Anibal Sanchez. The Angels opening it up here in the sixth inning, leading five nothing.
Sixth inning. Jeff Bandy due up to face Bruce Rondone. Sorry, in and out. Who's in? Who's out? Rondone pitching in back-to-back -back games. Pitched last night. 23rd time this year he's come out to the mound at the big league level. 4-2 and a 4.15 ERA. Good fastball, and he is going to face Jeff Bandy here for the man at second. That's Nick Buss. Rondon with 28 strikeouts in his 22 outings so far. Bandy 0 for 1. A fly ball to left in the third. Hit by a pitch in the fifth. And first pitch comes up empty. Good old country hardball. Here it is. Catch up to it if you can. 0 2. And Rondon's fastball is 95 to 99 range. Slider, very good one. And change up. Twenty five year old native of Venezuela. Six three two seventy five. That's what he's listed at. There's the 0-2. And he fouls it off. Rondo pitching at Triple-A Toledo. 22 games there. Nine saves. Two and two and a 3-7-4 ERA. Anibal Sanchez, five runs. All charged to him, all earned. Eight hits. He's responsible for Buss standing at second. Two strikeouts, no walks. Check swing. Looked like he went around, and he did. Tim Timmons brings it up, and the inning comes to an end. But the Angels sent seven men to the plate. With three runs on four hits. They did 5 nothing as we head to the bottom of the sixth. Nothing. A couple of uh, changes for the Angels on the defensive side of things. Cliff Pennington enters the game to play second base. That moves Caleb Coward second over to third. So Jeffrey Marte's afternoon comes to an end, going one for two with a home run and a sacrifice fly. Three runs batted in. Yeah, solid game for Marte. Caleb Coward did this last night too. Started the game at second base, moved over to third base during the course of that game with the Angels with the lead late.
Tiger setting up two three and four Maben Cabrera and Martinez here in the sixth inning. Maben 0 for 2 a fly ball to center and a double play ball. Good off speed pitch. He was a count up at a ball at a strike. Handles with two in the fifth, three in the sixth. One or two. Good spot once again at 90 from Tyler Skaggs. Six punch outs, two walks, one hit batter. Breaking ball, it's a ground ball to first. Crone will take it himself. One away. <laughs> Brings up Miguel Cabrera. He's had both hits in the game against Skaggs so far. Two for two with a single and a double. Break your ball in there. 0 2. That's a good one. That one at 72 miles an hour again. This guy can change speeds with his curveball. Cabrera with 1,002 RBIs as a member of the Tigers. He's one shy of tying Alan Trammell for 10th on the Tigers all time list. That one overthrown. It's 1 2. Alan Trammell's in the house today. There's the one two. This one's out toward right center field. Hit well. Trout racing back. Is there. Puts it away. Two down. Hey, join us tomorrow. The Angels taking on the Cincinnati Reds at 7.05. Fans in attendance will receive a coupon for a free pizza courtesy of Papa John's while supplies last. Go to angels.com slash promotions for more info. That's what we love, our pizza. Oh, it's free. That's what I like. <laughs> Whatever. It's even better. <laughs> Two quick outs for Tyler Skaggs. We'll bring up Victor Martinez, a DH. Victor 0 for 2 with a ground ball to third and a fly ball to right. This one's hit out the left. Bus is there. And a 1 2 3 shutdown inning. We head to the seventh with a 5 0 Angels lead.
homestand, two night games and a day game. Well, four o'clock start anyway on uh, Wednesday afternoon. Shoemaker Weaver and Alaska going for the Angels as they try to wrap up this uh, road trip on a winning note before returning home. They did 5 nothing as we start the seventh. Nice job so far for Tyler Skaggs. Talking things over with Shoe, who's got the uh, start tomorrow against the Reds. Last interleague meeting of the year for the Angels. And Joey Votto has been real hot for Cincinnati swing the bat. Caleb Cowart leading things off for the Angels. Swinging first pitch and lines one into center field. And it's a leadoff single for Cowart on board for the first time. So one for three game. Been really impressed by his swing. We showed him in the opening what he did yesterday. How short his swing has gotten. Brought his hands up. That's a high pitch. A firm pitch and lines it up the middle for a base hit. First pitch to Cole in for a strike. Calhoun 0 for 2. Ground down, a hit by a pitch, and a pop up. Boy, that's a huge jump. Yeah, this one flared out the shallow left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Cower can't find the baseball, and he ends up staying at second. He got deep big time, almost took a couple of steps back toward first. It's a single for Cole. The Angels have two on with nobody out. Well, that, he had a huge jump on the hit and run. I mean, he was almost there at second base. That looked like a straight steal. And then he was able to track it back. All you can hope for is look towards your third base coach at that time. But still, at second base here, base hit, two on for Trout. Trout one for three with a single and a run scored. Hit that ball that went off the glove of Iglesias to start off the uh, the Angels rally in the sixth, actually leading to three runs. Well, that inning could have really been completely different for Sanchez. The ground ball off of the glove of Iglesias. The baseball popped out of the glove of Maven in center. No balls, two strikes. Called strike three on three pitches. Trout is called out for the first down. The break of ball, upper part of the strike zone, catches it. Tight little slider there from Rondon against Trout. Albert already two hits in this game, two for three with a run score, trying to add on as far as the RBI total. Ground ball toward the hole. Iglesias, nice play to get the lead run. Relay back to first, and that is one heck of a double play. Started by Iglesias in the hole. Boy, that looked like it could have been an RBI single. Ends up being two outs on that play by Iglesias to Kinsler.
Now it's time for what's left in the tank, presented by 76. But Mike Warren in the game now for the Angels, taking over for Tyler Skaggs. You threw very good for six shutout innings. Be his 47th game this season, ERA rate at five. 45 innings pitched, 38 punch outs for Mike Morn. Fastball 90, 94 range, slider, but a very good changeup. Tigers setting up Martinez, Upton, and McGee here in the seventh inning. Tyler Skaggs ended up going six innings, with six punch outs, and uh, his longest outing since his first outing back, which he went seven innings against Kansas City on July 26th. J.D. Martinez over two with a couple of strikeouts. Martinez skies one on the first base side. This one will slice out of play. Evens a count of the ball that is dry. Handles with five runs, ten hits today. No errors. It left four on base. Tigers, no runs, two hits. Stranded four. Very impressive outing by Tyler today. Real good command. Finished off a number of hitters quickly. Real good changeup, too. Right time to throw that good arm side fastball. Tina's trying to shake it off. One two count. Halo's trying to finish off this road trip with a four and two record before returning home. And to play with a 55 and 74 mark at the start of the day. Down goes Martinez. Hat trick for the uh, Tiger right fielder. One down. <laughs> Go back and take a look at the uh, the ball that Pujols hit that ended up being an inning-ending double play. Boy, what a play! Unable, to, I mean, he was able to get to his glove side on that one quickly and fired over to Kinsler Iglesias to be able to complete six-four-three without even looking towards first base. Kinsler able to turn a double play, but the impressive thing: a lot of times you'll see an, an infielder on the backhand before making that throw. He was able to turn his hand and glove and keep it in front, and then quickly firing over to second base. Boy, off the bat, you're thinking that might have a shot at being an RBI single. Yep. End up being a double play. Upton takes downstairs. Struck out on the second, walked to the fourth. Solid, solid outing for Tyler Skaggs. Nice bounce back outing for him. Ground ball foul. Two balls, one strike. Jags' performance today, the uh, 14th time the Angels have had a starter work six plus scoreless innings this year. Tying them with the Tigers for the most in the American League. Which is rather impressive considering how this season has played out for the Angels on the pitching side. Still, it was great to see him. Mike Sosha has to be ecstatic what he saw as far as the stuff again by Tyler Skaggs in this game. Two two. Full count.
McGee on deck. Payoff pitch, and there's ball four. Upton works the walk. Up Casey McGee. MLB.TV Premium, the number one live streaming sports service, delivers everything you've come to expect and more. Watch every out of market game live in HD on over 400 supported devices. Includes a free subscription to App App Premium, the number one app for live baseball. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Go to MLB.TV for details. One out, one on. Here's the third baseman for the Tigers, Casey McGee. Walked in the second, fielder's choice in the fourth, so he's 0 for 1. A little slider there from Mike Morin, a very important pitch for him to be able to establish against, especially against right handed batters. He's certainly a double play candidate if you get a ground ball and an infielder. Grounded in four this season. Two balls, one strike. Time called. The game pops it up. Pennington calling off Crow. Two down. Upton still at first base, and McCann coming to the plate now. McCann has struck out twice today. Handles in the eighth have Crone, Simmons, and Pennington coming up. Slider for a strike. Ah. A good change of that one at 73, the pitch before, slider at 87. Change up 83. Outside, the chase and break the ball away. Can goes down swinging and a hat trick for the Tiger catcher. We are headed to the eighth. Angels up by the score of five nothing.
are on their way as they're up 5 nothing as we head to the top of the eighth inning. Ken Friends back with you. Don't forget following the game as Angels Live presented by your SoCal Moz dealers with myself and Jose Moto. Of course, take a closer look at Tyler Skagg's performance here this afternoon. And also we're going to look at that three-run sixth inning, which included an RBI double from Nick Buss, who's a local kid from Southfield, Michigan. He's had family and friends in attendance all weekend long. And guys, if you're looking for someone to add to your rec hockey team in the offseason, he might be your guy. He grew up playing high school hockey and actually had an ice rink in his backyard, fellas. Oh, look at Frenchie always bringing that hockey to the baseball flavor. All back to the ice for yes. Frenchie. Is this place called Hockey Town here? I believe Detroit? so. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. I wonder why he was so excited to come on this trip. Yes. Mark Loeb takes over on the mound here for Bruce Rondeau. Second reliever used by Brad Osmus. 46th game for the former Angel. One and three mark at a 7.99 ERA. Crone, Simmons, and Pennington for the Halos here in the eighth. CJ with a couple of hits today, two for three. A run scored. Count even up at one and one. This is line to left center field. It's a base hit, if not more, and it's going to be more. Crowe on his way to second. The ball just now getting to the wall. Try for third, CJ. He's trying for He's it. Got it. Yes, he does. A little stand-up variety. Stand-up triple for CJ Crowe. Second of the season. Three-hit game for CJ Crowe. And another pitch. Just above the belt in this game. All three hits on pitches above the belt against CJ Crone today. Cruz is in there. Stand up triple. That is his new career high in the season. Two. And one each at uh, 14 and 15. Infield in for Detroit. Simmons takes a strike. Anderton, one for two. A single with a run score of the fifth, a sack fly in the sixth. The Lowe's fastballs, 90 95 range slider. Throws quite a few of them. Change up. One of those sliders from Lowe. O2 just got a piece of it. RBI for Simmons, in the sixth inning, his 28th of the year. Jeffrey Martin with a three RBI performance today. He's no longer in the game. Pennington's on deck. That would be his spot. Very difficult to try to strike out Simmons if you're low. Try to get him to chase a chase of slider away. Fastball in. He's only 30 strikeouts. 345 at bats this season. Simmons is trying to make sure he makes contact. Shortening up his swing, trying to punch that ball to right field. Trying to pick up his second RBI of the game. Oh, 
Dribbler foul. Keeps that at bat alive. 0 2 count. 5 0 Halos. 2 in the 5th, 3 in the 6th. 11 hits for the Angels, just 2 for Detroit. Simmons goes down, swinging on the breaking ball. One away. Boy, not an easy thing to do to get Simmons to swing and miss, but Lowe was able to do so on that slider a little bit off the outside corner. Infield remains in. Here's Pennington, first plate appearance. Took over defensively in the sixth inning. 219 average with three home runs. Not RBIs. Takes inside. Popped up. Third base side headed toward the dugout. And that's out of play. Evens up the count as one and one. Halos have won three of their last four. Looking to make it four out of the last five. Remember, this road trip started on Tuesday in Toronto. They they dropped the opening game against Toronto. And made 11 consecutive road losses before winning the next two. They dropped Friday night's game and then won last night. And this one 5 0, looking to make it six with Crone standing at third. One watch. Two and one. Always important against this lineup to try to expand that lead if you can. A perfect opportunity to do so here for Cliff Pennington. Up the count. Now McCann and Lowe are going to talk things over here. Nick Buss on deck. Two two Pennington takes borderline pitch and it's ball three a full count. It's a little bit off the plate. Not by much though. Lead off triple for Crone. He's standing at third with one out. 3 2. Pennington goes down swinging off speed pitch. Two away. And McCann setting up away. Change up. A late little movement, but elevated. Usually, one you would think if you can keep your hands back just a little bit longer, you can hit that in the air to get the job done. But 
Speed differential gets the swing and miss. There's Nick. Takes a strike. Double down the right field line and picked up an RBI in the sixth. Two outs, the infield back at normal depth. No balls, two strikes. A lot of all-speed pitches for low. It's a triple by C.J. Crone against the lead off the inning. Two. Right, that's more for show a fastball upstairs to try to throw a slider now. He's picked up a couple of strikeouts since giving up that triple to CJ. Tigers in the bottom of the eighth have nine one and two coming up Iglesias Kinsler and Maven. Just outside. 2 2 count. Oh, it's been around a while. Briefly with the Angel. It's had a real tough season this year for the Tigers coming in the game at five, uh, 7 7.99 ERA. 12 home runs and 41 and two thirds innings pitched coming into this game. 11 games with the Angels in 2011. Then the Seattle, Texas, the Halos, Cleveland. Back to Seattle, Toronto, the Tigers this year. Always had a good arm, good life on his stuff. Never been able to really command it all. He's always, even though when he's in a, on a pretty good roll, he's always somehow has made a mistake out over the plate. And that is three consecutive strikeouts for Lowe. That's one way to work around a leadoff triple. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth. Angels up five nothing. Nothing here in the bottom of the eighth. And now we'll take another game break from Roger Center up in Toronto. We mentioned Donaldson earlier in the game with a home run. Make that two home runs as Toronto. That's a two-run home run. Have come all the way back to take the lead against Minnesota. We mentioned earlier they've come back in this entire series. They were down 5-2, now lead 8-5 up at Toronto. Number 32 
on the season for Donaldson. Jose Valdez comes on to relief. This will be his 11th game. He gets a chance to face his former mates. No one one mark at 3.72 ERA. He's got nine, one and two coming up. Glaciers, Kinsler, and Maven. Toronto, by the way, at the start of the day, a game lead over Boston. Three game lead over Baltimore. Baltimore leading their game against the Yankees late. Five nothing. Speaking of home runs, Mark Trumbo, number 40 on the season for Baltimore. Cha-ching. Timing is everything. Yep. No balls, two strikes on Iglesias. Hit by a pitch in the third. A ground down his last time up. Nick Moore in one inning. Two strikeouts and a walk. Quick pitch, ground ball foul. Still at 0-2. Valdez signing with the Tigers as a free agent back in 2009. His debut last year, July 31st. Pitched seven games at 0-1 and, and a four ERA. Chops this one back up the middle. Pennington to his right has it. Off balance throw, and they got him. Nice play by Cliff Pennington, one away. There's some serious arm strength among this, amongst all these infielders for the Angels. Pennington needed all that arm strength. Simmons got a power arm. And Coward at third, the same thing. He gets rid of it quickly, a lot on that throw to get Iglesias by a half a step. He gets rid of the transfer was excellent from Pennington. On the run, perfect throw to the first base. Here's a leadoff man and Ian Kensler. He's 0 for 3. Strike out, fly ball left, and the ground ball to short. Valdez was pitching at Triple A Toledo. Angels eventually picked him up. Ended up pitching a 22 game for Salt Lake. Threw the ball well there. This one lifted down the right field line. Cole chasing after it as is Crow, but this one's into the seats. Two balls, one strike. Allows Crone and Calhoun to have a quick conversation as they make their way back to their positions. Good afternoon for Crow. Three hits. Three balls, one strike. Just off the plate. Cameron may but on deck. Simmons has it, stumbles a little bit. Two down. Again, fields that baseball right in front of him. Even though he stumbled, still able to recover with that strong arm he has. Second out of the inning, second ground ball out. Turn behind Valdez, behind with this great middle infield right now for the Angels. Here's Maben. 0 for 3. Grounded out the crowd his last time up. This one shot down the right field line. It's a fair ball. Maben's speed is really easy. It doubled. Cole gets it back in. And the center fielder is in there with a two round extra base in and will bring up Cabrera. It's been a 
real nice job as far as shorting up his swing too, Maven, and utilizing his speed that he has. Fastball, inside out. See that speed, the strides that Maven has, there's no doubt that's going to end up being a double. That ball was bobbled at all by Cole and Wright. He's going to try to go to third. Great speed he has. So Cabrera will bat two for three. Single and a double. That hit by May, but just the third hit for Detroit. Up the first baseline, Valdez will pick it up, flip it to Crow, and the inning is over. We head to the ninth with the Angels up 5 0. First Astros collide with Adrian Beltre and the American League West leading Rangers. Then Miguel Cabrera and the Tigers battle the Royals. The action begins at 12.30 p.m. Pacific on FS1. But we'll watch it live on Fox Sports. Oh, Go. the old battle royal. The old battle. <laughs> battle. Boy, Houston is in trouble now in the AL West. Texas is playing an outstanding baseball. Both uh, the Strohs and the Mariners Seven and a half back at the start of the day. Houston trailing Tampa Bay 4 3 in the sixth inning. And we talked about Donaldson hit his second home run earlier. Well, now he has three home runs for Toronto. First time in his career. Uh, they lead 9 to 5. It's 33 home runs on the season, 91 RBI for Donaldson. Mark Lowe gave up the triple to Crow and then struck out three back out on the mound here in the ninth. Jeff Bandy, Caleb Coward, Cole Calhoun, 8 9 and 1 for the Angels. Ball at a strike. Jet, the fly ball left, hit by a pitch and a strikeout, so he's over two. One two. Bandy pulls one down the left field line but foul. Just out in front of it. Seattle by the way trailing the White Sox 2 1. That game being played at guaranteed rate field. Texas 
to score at the bottom of the third. They lead Cleveland one nothing. Here it's five nothing Angels. Two run fifth, a three run sixth. Total of eleven hits so far. Banding strikes out swinging one down that's four consecutive strikeouts for low. <laughs> Brad Ausmus. They go to the mound. See, that wasn't good enough for straight strikeouts. Yeah. You should have had five. What have you done for me lately, Mark Lowe? <laughs> I guess with Caleb Coward and Cole Calhoun come up, wants to match up. Down 5 nothing in the ninth. Top and a new pitcher on for the Tigers. Kyle Ryan, the left-hander, 24-year-old from Auburndale, Florida, takes over on the mound here. 48th game, a 4-2 record, a 3.23 ERA. He's going to face Caleb Coward and Cole Calhoun. Caleb, of course, the switch hitter will spin around to hit from the right side. Coward one for three. He had a single in the seventh. <laughs> Caleb, two for four. He's coming back to the big leagues from the right side of the plate. Mark Lowe ends up going and ending in a third with one hit, four strikeouts. First pitch swing, and it's ground ball to third. Nice play by McGee going to his left. Two down. Still another solid swing by Coward. Staying back on baseball short through the ball so effectively. A good play to be able to throw him out. He has really shortened up his swing. Short through that baseball, hitting it hard, but a nice play by McGee at third. Two outs, nobody on, and Cole Calhoun at the plate. One for three today. Single his last time up at the seventh. Ryan, a 12th round pick in 2010 by Detroit at a high school in Florida. 
Just six games two seasons ago. 16 last year. Including six starts. All in relief this year as Upton comes in. And we'll put it away as we hit at the bottom of the ninth. Angels up five nothing. On the mound now for the Angels. Taking over for Jose Valdez, who was solid with one inning, one hit allowed. Zeros across the board. Los Gara 2 0 with a 2.79 ERA, 42, punch, 42 innings pitched, 30 punch outs, only three walks. Fastball, 89 to 92 range. Slider, but a very, very good changeup. Got Martinez. Martinez and Upton do up here in the ninth for Detroit. Dale is trying to close it out for the Halos. And, uh, the Angels back home with a nice road record of four and two. Take on the Cincinnati Reds for a quick three game homestand beginning tomorrow night. Again, going back to the offenses they have had a face on this trip. Toronto now here in Detroit. How about Toronto? How about Donaldson? That hat trick. Three home runs in the game for Toronto. They lead that one nine to six with two outs. In the ninth inning, they try to sweep the Minnesota Twins. Victor Martinez, a DH 0 for 3. Tigers have managed three hits today. Two against Tyler Skaggs. The other one against Valdez. Skaggs today was spectacular. Six innings, two hits, six strikeouts, two walks. In line for his second win. Second longest outing since coming back. Today being his seventh start. Shift on with Victor at the plate. It's one thing Garrett's really been able to do as a member of the Angels, getting back in counts by throwing his change up for strikes. One one. This is hit into the shift. Pennington's there. One out. Oh, that perfect location to be at is the second baseman in shallow right field. We we'll gets that line drive of Victor Martinez. He's the team that will put the shift on quite a bit defensively. 971 times they've done that this year. Seventh most in the majors, and that worked perfectly on that one.
J.D. Martinez open three with three strikeouts today. Excellent changeup. This is a perfect follow through. As a hitter, you're thinking and looking fastball. Dropping that changeup in around 80 miles an hour. Foul back. That changeup took a little bit more off it. It's 78. One two from Dallas. It's fouled back. Fastball hit. And yeah, not overpowering with his fastball, Gary is. Though after a changeup, back to back changeups, late on that 90 mile an hour fastball. The battle continues. And J.D. Martinez has had five games in which he struck out four times in the game so far. Three strikeouts behind in the count here. One, two against Garrett. Trying to give Chase a breaking ball. Third best pitch for Garrow. Two balls, two strikes. Up to on deck. Here's a 2 2. Check swing bouncer foul. Solid afternoon for the Angels both on the pitching side and on the offensive side. Full count. Here comes the payoff. Bouncer foul. Martin is battling up there, trying to avoid that fourth strikeout. Both he and McCann have struck out three times today. That's long at bats. Still no contact in play. Ground ball towards short. Simmons has it as he goes into the slide. Two down. What a pretty play by the Angel shortstop. Yeah, how quickly he goes into the slide and pops up and then fires across the diamond to make that all important second out here in the ninth. Looks like a base hit off the bat. Slides, gets up quickly, and fires the first to get Martinez. That range he has. And those quick hands, the transfer, and that firm throw. Halo's one out away from wrapping up this road trip at four and two. It's 
Justin upped it up. 0 for 1. A strike out and a couple of walks. Go oh, on. Upstairs. Breakable looked like it slipped out of his hand as Garrett was following through on the pitch. Oh, <laughs> terrific change of one and two. Yeah, swing like that, you figure you got to go back to it again. You got to try it. Especially when that's your best pitch. One, two, lifted foul. He came back with it, but Upton tried to shorten up his swing just to try to make contact. Garrett ready. Here's the one two. It's a ground ball toward the hole, and it's a base hit. Upton picks up a single. With two outs here in the ninth. Third time he's been on board. Pretty good bat by him, really. Yeah, down and got that pitch lower part of the strike zone. The ground that went through the hole between short and third. Certainly not a bad pitch or location from Garrett, but Upton wins that battle. So two outs and a man at first. It's Casey McGee at the plate. Walk a fielder's choice and a pop up. Takes low. Pro play behind Upton at first base with a 5 0 lead as Guerra misses, and it's two balls, one strike. Two two. Upper part of the strike zone on that change up. Fernando Salo starts to loosen slowly. Angels pen. Two two pitch. Full count. Off the plate. Upton will get a head start from first. They are ready. Upton. It's ready to take off, does so, and McGee fouls it back. Stayed back pretty well on that all speed pitch. Yeah, it looked like McGee anticipating an off speed pitch. Just trying to hit it back up the middle.
Try to sneak a fastball in on. I think it's the time to challenge him with a fastball yeah. for sure. He's in defense mode, especially when he's thinking in terms of looking all speed to try to punch that ball the other way. Now the 3 2. This is popped up to shallow right center field. Long run out for Pennington, but a Calhoun is there to make the catch. Light that baby up as the Angels shut out the Tigers and pick up the series. 5 0 the final today. What an all around excellent effort today by the Angels. Deserve that shutout. CJ Crone with a big night. Three hits, including a triple.